I don't know how to start this, to be honest, because it's going to be a new podcast. Yeah, it has to be special, but then we can't think of something special other than your regular hello everyone greeting. Well, actually, to be fair, let's see, uh, break the tension and say, Merry Christmas, everyone, because this is going out on Christmas. There we go. Yeah, Merry Christmas, and then I'm here doing Actually, with... wait, wait, we have what? to, you know, account for the Starbucks and the Minati. The what? Well, basically, you know, has, you know how in Starbucks they don't say Merry Christmas, they say Happy Holidays. So, basically, that's that, that's where the Starbucks and the Mighty Things comes from. They're where you're not to be politically correct. You want to say you need to say Happy Holidays. You can't say Merry Christmas because everyone celebrates for Christmas, especially mm-hmm. around like London, you know, and Central, in particular, and mixed cultures and so on. And you might mm-hmm. hurt someone's feelings, but you know what? We we're, we're, we're Annie Sock, and we don't give a shit about people's feelings. I mean. Well, we care about feelings. It's not because we are any sort that we don't care about feelings. It's just we don't care about anyone's feelings at all. Not even our own feelings. We don't have feelings. Yeah. Point fingers to have. Your feelings can't be hurt if you don't have them at all. Very true. That's one way of looking at it, right, Hayman? Yeah, and I can't... It's, it sounds sad. Ugh. Especially after this year, really. Like, this whole year really, like, destroys your feelings. Just makes you realize, well, yeah. I need to be a shell of a person by the end of it. It's so much easier to be a shell than, you know, be a person with actual feelings and goals and mm-hmm. aspirations. Mm-hmm. Ah, just be, just, just be like a mannequin. Being a mannequin is a good way of uh, doing things, isn't really? it? Really? Yeah, why not? Like, mannequins have got a great, right? They just, they don't even have to dress themselves. People just come up and just dress them for them, you know? And all they have to do is just stand there and look pretty. Like, I love that sort of job. It's great. Fair enough. Actually, okay. isn't that what model does anyway? Anyways, shall we just move on? Cause we don't want to st- uh, st- stay on this for too long. I mean, we're technically well moving on. We've got some raise, some raise the year. Say some bullshit about the year. And, well, uh, this year I do say that it started off in a pretty much a bullshit way. Not gonna lie. Especially with LSESU and LSE itself having no clue on what they're doing, and as a result, so do we, isn't it? Oh yeah, but the, the, the thing is like, no, at least we, we, like, here's the thing, we knew what we wanted to do, but they didn't let us do what we wanted to do, and then at that point we kind of went like, well, what do we do now? And at the beginning of the year, we knew LSESU is was screwing up, and they, they themselves was not aware of that. Yeah, they've, 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 only, only, started, started. they've only started admitting that recently. Yeah. And I mean, even LSE started admitting, oh wait a second, our student satisfaction is not ideal. Bad. Yeah. Making the student first uh, initiative, which is something uh, of its own little thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't really know how to put student first <laughs> in any context without, without like looking back at EA's gamer first policy and then considering what they did with Battlefront. So basically, what's going to happen is right. LSE is going to do the students first uh, initiative, which I'm kind of confused why they have to do such an initiative to begin with. Because I'm sorry, they're in the like, shouldn't the students be the first priority to begin with? You shouldn't yep. need to consider that. I don't know. Yep. Like, uh, yeah, but, why do they have to have that to begin with? Like, just give them the benefit of the doubt or say, okay, fine, guys, you screwed up, but you're kind of realizing what, that you're doing something wrong. You might do something different. But the thing is, if they do what EA did, they'll just go, okay, we've got, you know, we'll do a year or two of us actually doing decent shit and people being happy about it, right? Happy with what we're doing. Uh-huh. And then after that, we're just going to murder all that goodwill away. But the problem is, the student first policy sounds really dodgy, though. Like, it's just like Amer- Trump's American first. <laughs> well, no, but here's the thing, no, he's, he's looking out for America's best interest. Well, besides uh, starting a war in North Korea, that might be a problem. What benefits if you just nuke North Korea? I know that's, you know, America's, you know, foreign policy. Uh-huh. You know, don't like something, nuke it. That sounds like a good idea. It worked pretty well in World War II, you know, that it worked so well they decided to do it twice in the same country. So, yeah. What? Well, hey, stop it. Never nuke a country twice. <laughs> It's proven by Japan. <laughs> Never knew a country twice, otherwise you get blend ass and experience of blend ass that we've gotten recently. Exactly. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Traps the cover reality. It's a uh, bad, bad time. Basically, let's summarize this as it's too much. Is blend ass not your anime of the season? Stop it. Stop it. It's season's greetings, man. Like, why, why, why wouldn't you like it? I, I, I thought it was your favorite anime. You're the one who voted for it, hey, man. Stop it. You made it sound like such a good idea. Please don't. I, I regret it. I regret every second of it, okay? You only regret it after the trap yeah, came into play. Yeah, that. If there was no trap, you would have been like, yeah. It's it's fun when there's what, no trap. What did, but when there is a trap, oh, oh my god, that's like the worst thing. What did you think they uh, they meant uh, in the OP when they said surprise? <laughs> I don't know. 
That was, must be a decent surprise, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stop it, like, why? Okay, the summarize of the summary of the year's anime, I mean, the, the stuff we screened. Well, Plan S was just such fun, right? Yeah, for you. Well, we had we had fun from the beginning, in the first half, but then ever since the trap pop, pop out, it was like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, you could say whatever you want, hey man, but we all know that Kim and Tommy would have been a much better yeah. alternative. Like, and, and drinking on Tommy really much. So, how about we just start with something, I don't know, like, our favourite anime of winter 2017 anime, what would you say your favourite one? Dragon Maid, yay! Dragon Maid? Cutest lolly of the year, best girl of the year, yay! Uh, well, to anyone who doesn't know it, referring to Kana, a cute little girl who's, who appears to try to eat everything she came across, and probably a pretty good meme material. I mean, I haven't seen it, so I can't really... Watch it, you flap. Okay, okay, so, I mean, Dragon Maid, I've heard good things about, so I'm not gonna trash it too much, to be honest. Just watch it. It's not blend S. So it's, it's much better than blend S bullshit. Personally, say, I think, like, as much anime goes, I think the uh, Kuzo was probably, like, my highlight. It was really... Yeah, like you just was... somehow relates to it, right? No, it's like, it's just more like Kuzo, like, like, it had... Such an interesting. I mean, like, okay, like it basically each, each episode felt like substantial. Like you, you watch something mm -hmm. and something happened, and it was worth watching. Mm -hmm. And also, it was really well animated. Like it was really pretty. Oh yeah, like the art style for both the manga and the anime was really good. Also, it was a really it has a really nice soundtrack. Op ed pretty good. There, like there's a lot of symbolism about, in there. It's yeah, good they're stuff. pretty good. Not gonna yeah. then probably not the best still. I mean, that's that's, that's like uh, when it comes to new anime, that's that I say was that was my yeah, highlight. Yeah, talk about spring maybe. Yeah, I, I remember that book in a Hero Academia started in oh. the season, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that was my thing. So that's what I was watching really. Like a book, uh, I, uh, book in a Hero Academia was uh, it had a pretty long run, and man, it was satisfying. I just love book in Hero Academia. I've never felt they wasted an episode. Wait, Attack on Titan started uh, in like April this year. I mean, season two. Yeah, I know. We can talk about that. But, but yeah. the point is, like, I can't really give much to Attack on Titan because it's like I watched the first season, wasn't way well into it after the second mm -hmm. half, and then um, I kind of watched the second season. I watched nearly to the end. I haven't, I haven't watched the first, or, like, the last episode or the last. I think maybe one. I think mm -hmm. it was just one episode. So, I mean, it was fun. It was a thing. Um, it's well animated. Blah blah blah. Has a great soundtrack. You know, uh, all that mm -hmm. stuff. But I just not feeling it. I don't know. Like, it's. Uh, yeah, so something about, you know, giant naked dudes running around just doesn't uh, suit my liking. For whatever reason. Oh, uh, well, I don't know, but then the animation's pretty done. Oh, oh no, 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 it's like, I'm saying like, as far as anime goes, it's like, it's it's well, really well done. It, there's nothing like really I can fault yep. it for, it's more just a sense of like, just not feeling it, right? Fair it, enough, it, that it, makes sense. Nothing really against that, like, I can't really like, like, you know, if blend that's like a trash or like, uh, one because the animation, whatever, blah, 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 uh, you know, the story's not going anywhere, the characters are one-dimensional, blah, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, if it's like a Titan, not really, I mean, I did, I did give my run on Levi this year, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> as is, but then again, it's like, yeah, I mean, as far as generic characters go, like, you know, like, generic, the, Levi's basically, you know, the, the cool-looking, mm -hmm guy that never smiles and he does uh, cool shit. There you go. Done. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could probably put that more eloquently, but I can't be asked. So, well, we'll just stack, stick with that. Fair enough. Oh, well, okay. This spring, the spring season for this year, there are actually a pretty solid productions. Like, well, Boruto started. But uh, that's uh, no, no. Probably not solid. But then there's, uh, oh, wow. Okay, this is some call this trash, some like it really a lot. Ero Manga Sensei. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Another, another incest wincess thingy, but then, it, well, they're not actually related on, in blood, so. It's legal, I guess. But it's still super dodgy. Uh, but then they only met like a year before they, the story starts. But then, remember, the female MC is like 12. And she draws Ero Manga already. Yeah, I, uh... Let's move on from that. I well, don't want there's to... like recreators, and which I heard is a really solid uh, fantasy battle anime. So I I do want to watch this at some point because I do I um, want to watch something that's lit battle animations, hmm. and this was said to be one. So yeah, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, um, I can't really fault that too much because I mean I haven't seen it, so I can't really say what I think of it. 
But yeah, it sounds like something that might be worth a lot of I just read some comments and stuff. And then, no, it's summer. I mean, do you have, do you have anything for spring like that you personally think stood out to you? I didn't check, I didn't watch any spring season stuff. Uh -huh. I do check out a lot of summer season, no? summer season though. Oh, yeah, I know. You you said that you have a personal highlight for summer season. That's, oh, okay. It's, uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Well, what's your highlight then? Tsure Tsure Children, definitely. <laughs> like, it's just really grind your gears hearing them screwing up their chances or doing the wrong stuff, but then there's this really good student union smooth as, as smooth as Sakamon Hakun's dude who's like scoring cr like crazy. Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, he's scoring with just one girl though, so... But then, he, every move, like, is like on point. Yeah, every move he made was slick and calculated. Yeah, he's just a great guy. know character. what the girl was looking for. And but what the thing is, like, a lot of thing I love about Sur Surida, right? Like, covers a lot of, like, these weird, quirky things that just happen, uh -huh. right? And you just relate to them so much. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, I remember those awkward moments. Those awkward moments were... <laughs> awkward as awkward as this anime is making it me feel right now. Oh, oh. Yeah. So it's good. It's, it's it's good stuff. Like if you can relate to it as well. I mean, it's enjoyable to watch anyway because it's just like, why? Yeah, why is this happening? But then you're like, oh, it actually happens, and it's actually a thing that. I mean, the the SU present, I think not so much, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, there were like just some general relationship quirks in there that I'm like, yeah, this stuff happens surprisingly often. Or maybe I just have a really weird love life. Who knows? <laughs> Probably the latter. Hmm. I mean, hey, maybe it's just. You know, if you have wide experience, you just cover all your bases in the process. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll use that as my excuse. Fair enough. But then we have this Aho girl banana, banana fetish here. Fetish? Oh, no. Aho. Obsession, not fetish. Fetish yeah. sounds wrong. Which is really funny because Aho girl, we actually had that Annie sock, didn't we? That was the one of the first class six we screamed. And it's not really classic, goddammit. Like, why we... Why is it? To be fair, yeah. all you need is That's the first fun. episode. The first episode is good. After you keep watching more and more episodes, you just kind of go... It's oh, still okay. fun. <sighs> I mean, speak for yourself, hey man. Wait, hey. You enjoy it, right? I watched it for a bit, but then I was like, why am I watching? Because you want something happy to cheer you up. Actually, wait. I have a highlight for the summer season now that I think about it. I mean, I have a highlight yeah, that no one yeah. else is going to have, and uh, stick with me on this, and it's a dub, by the way. I'm highlighting a dub, not the actual anime, really? right? Did you remember? Oh, no girl. The dub. No girl. Oh, the dub is beautiful. Like, the, the dub, sub, beautiful. they're actually being really serious and trying to make it a thing, but then the dub crew is just, like, giving up on the whole thing because the story is so shit. Yeah, it's basically... It's an, Official abridged. It's basically like ghost stories uh, mm. dub, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is beautiful!" It's officially abridged. Yeah, and I just, I just, I just love just how like it's just, just how much uh, you know uh, range sees a voice actor has. You know, his voice just goes so high at uh, some points, it just makes it so funny. It just mm -hmm. makes it so beautiful to watch. And also, I just love how much of a bitch main girl is. Mm -hmm. You know, she has this really bitchy, like, tone, and I just love it so much. It's just like, oh, this sounds like trash, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful for best for, like... Wait, have you finished the whole thing, by the way? No, but mm -hmm. it's more the sense of, like, if I, I had to say, just like... Uh, it's it's edgy, and it's really edgy, and Jesus fucking Christ, it's edgy as fuck, but... It's so fun. It, it's more the sense of, like... Uh, if... If you watch the dub, it kind of plays it up the, off the etchy you know, in a way that you can kind of watch it. Yep. Although, don't watch it with your mother. I highly d would not recommend that. But just watch it alone in a room by yourself. Well, well, that just Wait, you just make it sound extra dodgy. Yeah, I mean, oh, but the thing is, I wouldn't say, hey, watch this on the train. Mm, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd say you have to make sure that no one, know, no one is watching what you're watching, because otherwise it becomes a really awkward conversation. <laughs> you know? Like... Yeah, I mean, unless unless you not you know you don't give a shit what other people think, then yeah, it works perfectly. You think about it, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you do you. If you want to watch Hajime Tennō Gal on the train and be judged, go for it. God no, uh, I'm not doing this. I'm <laughs> not touching that shit. Yeah, but as as far as summer goes, I think uh, Bakunai Academia was still continuing, so I was mm -hmm. enjoying myself and it was fun. Oh, actually, wait a second, not anime related, but fuck it, I'm gonna put it on here anyway. Rick and Morty. There we go. That was. Stuck. I mean, I just know there's a the Sichuan Souls came that came out a few months ago, 
Uh, the Sichuan sauce was a whole joke before that. They basically released a couple of episodes and they didn't release the season. And then uh, the season actually came out and it was all late as fuck. It was great. Yeah, but like the seafood sauce, I don't think it's like that amazing before. It's just like, it's just that the whole, the whole Rick and Morty thing just made it popular as fuck. Oh no, here's the thing, it's like, uh, one, uh, one thing I love about uh, the, the Rick and Morty thing is like, the, the episodes were good. I think like, they're uh -huh. really well crafted and especially if you pay attention to a lot of like, it's kind of dumb at points, but then it's like, there, there are like layers behind it that, you know, the idiocy, in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's enjoyable. Like, it's an enjoyable thing to watch and it's just fun sometimes, you know, it's just, it's good. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah. And there is like an interconnecting story technically, and uh, I just love the fan theories. I just, I just really love just going on the internet and just reading some really dirty fan theories. It's my, it's kind of like my, uh, you know, guilty pleasure really. So, I mean, hey, I do that with Dragon Ball. Trust me, I have so much Dragon Ball trivia. You wouldn't even fucking know. Same with Naruto. Yeah, but what you don't want to tell. The me reason that. I started watching Dragon Ball Super is because of the fan theories. Because mm. I was like, oh my god, these people are calculating the strength and shit. Okay, I'm down. Using maths, hell yeah. <laughs> Physics, yeah, fair enough. I'm down for that. And yeah, so that's so that's kind of the uh, fun stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah Summer wise, I'd say Boku no Hero Academia, second, uh, whatever season it was on. Second season. Second season. Yeah. Two yes. seasons, yeah. Yeah. yeah good maybe. stuff, man. That's good stuff. It was good. It, it was good stuff, and I enjoyed it. So yeah, that was uh, my highlight for the summer. Okay, so we come back to this season. Awesome. Autumn season. Oh, okay. That's not that exciting. Not gonna lie. You're not gonna say it's not that exciting. You don't. Oh wait, no. Actually, I agree. Um, it's not the exciting thing. It's just interesting. <laughs> like, did you get excited for Ancient Mega Sprite? No. I mean, Ancient Mega Sprite. It's interesting, but it's not something that shown and hype you. Oh wait, excited. It's exciting this season because Shokugeki no Soma. Exactly, Shokugeki man, like, why, why the hell is it not exciting? Yeah, it's like, it, I was waiting for so long. And Gintama as well, wow. Yeah, yeah. exactly, I mean Gintama I've actually gone into a bit as well, but yeah. Just talk about Shokugeki no Soma for oh, now. Oh, Shokugeki's been so good, I mean it started off slow, but then once it got going, man, that train, the hype train never fucking stopped. It was fantastic. We all got on the hype train and we were all going where we wanted to go. Except, I don't know how they're going to cap it off because 12 episodes and we really don't want it to end and I don't know where it's going to end to be honest. It's just going to end on a cliffhanger where... Where is it now? The Shukugeki between... Um, um, what the hell is that guy's name? I keep forgetting. Um, oh, it's still that really... Oh wait. Uh, what the... The black guy now, or no, it's just the that's the brown, that's the Indian guy. I'm just saying the dark hair guy, the dark hair guy, yeah, the uh, hmm. Kuri, whatever his name is. Has the black guy gone through the like the really black and classy guy? No, I don't. I don't. No, the one with good with spices. That's not black. I know. Oh, wait, brown then. Like he's, he's like if anything, I'll say he's Indian maximum brown. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's it's Asian. really racist. He's fucking Asian. Like, why yeah. are you being racist to your own kind, hey man? No, he's not my own kind. Sorry. Like, he he actually came from Africa or some sort. Okay. Did like, he... look at this guy's backstory. Fuck's sake. Is it, is it Africa though? Because I thought he's, he's not from Japan at all. I know he's not from Japan, but I thought it's like it was probably like East, uh, probably East Asia or something like that. Maybe India, but hey, 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 hey. India spices make India sense China, from India, like, to be honest. What? If it's spices, it makes sense if it's in Probably. There. No, he's just, this guy's just got a really good nose. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Good nose. It kind of makes a bit more sense, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's it was basically the first... Uh, I mean, there was so much Shikugeki. That was really cool. And then there was... Uh, because of Aizen's reactions. It's lovely. Oh, so God. Yeah. Right. Obviously, the, I mean, it's still going on well and we're recording this. So it's kind of hard to say how it's going to cap off. But... It was great. Let's continue anime. I think there will be a, there will be four or five more shop. No, a couple more shop again. Yeah, let's continue anime. Look, like I don't really uh, like because I can't remember the fucking name of the guy, so I'm gonna kind of try to avoid saying much about it. But yeah, basically, mm -hmm. as far as things go, because continuing anime goes, that's my highlight so far, and it'll probably, it'll probably be uh, you know even after it ends. Uh, Shokugeki is always fucking hype. Although there has been uh, this weird thing for some reason. Uh, this episode there was like this weird edgy where. Okay, you know how this, uh, you know how they always lose their clothes, right? This time mm -hmm. around, the girls lost their clothes, but they had kept their panties on, and I was kind of like confused why mm -hmm. that was a thing. 
I, I don't know if like, are they trying to make him more fan servicey or less? And I wasn't too sure. Yeah, keeping the panties on probably should be like something of a borderline. Yeah, but the thing is, it, it, it's kind of like they before it wasn't there, and it was kind of like you know what, it's basically fully committed to it, right? Mm -hmm. And now it feels like it's like, did you, the, the people really want to see the panties, like? Well, the panties makes stuff more fancy. Like, I don't know. It's more the sense of like, I just, I'm just gonna kind of be confused. But like, it's like, it's more the sense of like, they started doubting their own fan service, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're, they started doubting their own food gasms, and I'm just like, you fully commit to the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Or you don't, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't have it like halfway, because halfway. Wait, 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 wait. If the if the underwear is not fancy, it's gonna be okay. No, hey man, this is not to do with the underwear. I'm just saying, like, it's weird that it's there. That's my point. It's like, because I think it's before it wasn't, and now it is, and I'm like, what? Who are you trying to? Or appeal maybe here? it's just authority start to, starting to force them censorship. I don't know. To be honest, it's a bit weird. It was a bit odd for me. I was like. And the same way there was like Erina's uh, weird fan servicey moment too. I was kind of a bit. Uh, I don't know why that was a thing. It's kind of like it's hard to recommend something like this when there's stuff like this, right? It's just kind of like, yeah, it's great and it's fun. And the thing is, you just have to accept uh, accept that there is etchy, right? But the thing is, the way I say it, uh, sell it, right? Is okay. There's etchy, but the thing is, the etchy is there to demonstrate food gasm, right? Nothing else, right? But then there's stuff like that, when I'm like... Oh. I mean, the other ones are food gasm, but this the, the Erin is fan service, which is fan service for the sake of fan service. Okay. Okay, her clothes are worse, so you can see through it, everything, and yeah, she's basically partial in dress. <sighs> Why? Fair enough. You know, it's more a sense of, like, I'm not really against it, it's just more... It's like, oh, come on, guys. It didn't... It was not needed. So why was it here? Yeah? Mm hmm I get why, because, you know, you want to give, give it some fan service and whatever, and that kind of, I guess, sells more copies of the DVDs. I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe it gets like, some more publicity. Fuck knows. But yeah, so, um... So, new anime. Kino no Tabi, right? You said that? Yep. Yeah. Fun stuff. Like, it's just really interesting. Uh, short of, like, let's say, it's more like a traveling journal. Of some people, some random people, not random people, but the main characters. Yeah, I watched a few episodes. I think I watched up to episode three or whatever. So yeah, you did. But then I mean, I might watch your discipline or so. Yeah, I might watch a bit more of it. It's, it's really fun. It's very well animated. It's uh, really chill. It does, right? And uh, there are some hype moments in it. To be honest, so, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. I mean, it's I can't. It's all good. It's all good. It's a, it's a, it's like it's a nice little twist. You don't usually see anime like this, so it's nice. It has like its own contained stories within each episode. So, but that's kind of also the, probably the reason I'm not that invested in it. You know? Why? Because it's not like I'm, I'm assuming there's an overarching, uh, arcing story at the end. But oh, okay. it's more like currently, like with three episodes, if you watch it, right? It's kind of like okay, there's a story here, there's a story here, there's a story here, right? Mm -hmm. And that's great, but the thing is, they're not, they're self contained stories, and it's kind of like, okay, I had my fun, you know? It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, in the same way, though, it's kind of like, I did the same thing with Ancient Magus Pride, you know? Like, um, one, thing I, uh, one thing I really liked about it was just like, okay, this is really nice and chill, right? And it's, it has some really interesting uh, messages and imagery and Wait, yeah. have you updated yourself on that one? No, I was episode three and I Damn, didn't need to watch it. I'm sorry. I, I mean I commit myself to two seasonal anime this season and also the the one that we have in anime song and then I just keep myself up to date on them. Yeah I Except Blindness. <laughs> Except that like, you kept up with Blindness until you saw something you didn't like. Yep, exactly. So yeah you can kinda of keep that to yourself. To be honest, but yeah. Um, personally, yeah, like Ichi Magus Pride had a, a similar thing where it's kind of like it's really well animated, it has, has interesting messages that it wants to portray, it has interesting characters, an interesting world, it's really pretty, you know, like it's got a lot of stuff that's good about it. But the point is, again, it's very slow and it's, you know, like that's what, I, what you want for after a day of work, you just want to sit there, enjoy life. Chill, relax. Yeah, but at that point, I want to watch something like that in dub. So it's because uh, uh, it's an additional effort for me to watch uh, something like that in sub. 
like stuff like you know Dragon Ball, I could just kind of watch and sub because it's hype and yeah. And frankly, the words have not too much. Fair enough. And they're just yelling. Meaning but ancient Manga Sprite, it has like a, I guess it has more meaning behind it. So you, you have, have more to keep concentration more, on it. Yeah, you have to concentrate on it a bit more. So it's a bit harder to keep up to date with that. Fair enough. And anyway, you can't really blame me for it because I have watched other anime this season. You know, like I have. I've, uh, I mean, hey, I uh, might have anime the season in your in your shiki, to be honest. So, well, wait. Speaking of Inuyashiki, it get even worse next episode. Why did you watch the next episode? I watched it. It was even worse. It, is it is it worse in a good way or worse in a bad way? Bloody. Okay, hell. good. That's a good way. I like that. Bloody hell! Like it's a bloody fucking mess. So uh, as long as like they finish off the anime well, they'll probably be my anime of the season uh, as a new anime goes. Uh, Let's see, Shikiki. but the, it's really bloody as fuck. Not gonna lie. I'll just be frank here. Well, okay, that's good though. So, quite, have you been enjoying the new Shiki then? It's pretty decent. But then they still, the two robots still haven't clashed yet. We'll wait, we'll wait. So, what's the anime of the season then? Well, that's gonna be Shoujo Shumatsu no Ryoko. Uh, their last, yeah. girl's last tour. Oh, is that lolly uh, traveling anime? Yeah. Of it actually is a new, like, it explores a new topic of apocalypse. Now, uh, this author of uh, the girl's last tour took a different approach. What if humans fail to rebuild civilization, and they just gradually dies out? And what we are proud for is gradually lost. Yeah, and civilization just dies out, and like, what will happen? So well, right. we have this little new f perspective to look at the world, so it's, I would say, a pretty interesting stuff, because they are, like, interpreting a lot of new, a lot of stuff that we actually ex expect it to be like common sense and they just these two little girls who supposed to don't not know little about um, modern civilization actually came up with new meanings and stuff like for example they talked about religion life death and also like some science it's pretty fun hmm. that sounds interesting in its own little way because like oh it kind of sounds a little bit like school live Oh, yeah. it's better than school. Lit. Well, I mean, like you know, it kind of sounds like a similar sort of topic. It's like much it's, better than school. You lit. see, you see the start of it, and you you don't expect it to be a dark, as dark as it actually is. You know what I mean? Because that's what it looked like to me. It's like, oh, it's a couple of these traveling. Okay, well, that's uh, fun, I guess. You know, so I'm not actually really give it a look, but uh, that actually sounds kind of uh, promising. I might give, have to look at it at some point. To be honest, uh, yeah, that sounds good. And obviously there's the meme of the season, which I'm gonna, that's a new category I'm gonna start, which I think goes to Blend S. Has provided oh. the most memes. Yep, definitely. And I'm, I just saw a new meme with this. I'm I mean, gonna, I'm probably gonna post it in as Facebook. A, as a person that, you know, uh, <laughs> trashes it so much, I do post a lot of Blend S memes. It's just sure. meme -y. I mean, but should we also put Jojo on meme of the season because we screened it this uh, season? <laughs> It's not this season, but it's just memes. Yeah, just loads of JoJo memes. I mean, a lot of people enjoyed JoJo when we screened it, right? Like, we screened it, people Dude. enjoyed it, then we screened it, like, uh, right uh, before we left for, you know, the break, and people really enjoyed that, too. Like, we had actually some time okay. for that, so... Okay, so, uh, best girl of the year, then. Give oh, me a best Kana. girl. Kana. Yeah, Kana from Dragon Maid. Best girl, definitely. Uh, okay, fair dues. Because I just only watch a few for this year. Yep. Okay, fair enough. I don't think I really have this girl. Because you don't care about waifus anyways. No, I think I... Okay, no, sorry. I've got best girl, but best girl not of the season because uh, I've watched Unlimited Blade Works during... Uh, God. Because uh, I watched it during the summer, so I'll just uh, put Rin. Best girl, Saber. <laughs> best girl, Rin. No, fuck, no, fuck but like, Saber. Saber's so annoying. Rin is just... Rin got more character development in Unlimited Blade Works. If you want Saber character development, you should be go for the original face thing. I wish the animation was shit. <laughs> it was shit, so that's the reason we don't talk about it. Yeah, but then Saber is like still one of the most popular girl in. No, oh. I know, I know that. So that's the reason I'm not really gonna like uh, tr uh, throw too much of my own uh, preferences out there. But yeah, mm -hmm. I've written this bag anyway. Um, uh, so yeah, well, well, what other kind of categories do you want to throw around here, hey man, then? Well, uh, Best guy of the season. <laughs> fuck, I'm not gay. Husbando. Give I'm me not husbando. gay, for fuck's sake. No homo. 
<laughs> no, no, you homo. talk about husband and say no homo, but then, and then it makes you no homo. Uh, well, you don't favor a male protagonist? No, nope. whatever. Oh, what a shame. Not husband, or thing. I mean, you can always have a, a man crush, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Who's your husband, though, then? I don't really have one, to be honest. There's no... Does anyone really stand out that much this season? I don't know. Uh, nah. You don't have one, right? No. Uh, I don't really have, like, oh, I love this character so much. He's so good or whatever. I mean... Hmm. I'm trying to actually like work back for it. Maybe there's something that's like there's someone that's really interesting, but I can't really put my finger on it to be honest. No. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here to be honest. Actually, no. Okay, I've got I've got Husbando, Rick Ooh. from Rick and Morty. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm taking. Never this. mind. I'm out. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that, that's, I can't really think of anything. That's not really our category. As guys, we don't really have a... one of the seasons. Should get, we should get Tina on here. She'll be like, Law, Bakugo, and... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what was the uh, Shoto. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, but that's... Uh, mm. there's, there's nothing else I can really throw in there, to be honest, in that case. Mm. But you can also get Alex on here as well, and she'll be able to give us her BL uh, lowdown. You know? No, no. Oh, fuck's sake. I, we, we're not talking about BL. BL is the shit we don't touch. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, but hey, man. BL is the popular shit on the internet. You know that. The good stuff. Why, why are you not into the good stuff? Are you into the good stuff, man? No. I have, don't touch that stuff. On exactly. The, the only part of that touched is Yuri on Ice because we watched that. The screen the whole thing. Yeah. And I mean, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm like 10 or 11 episodes in, and I might as well finish it. <laughs> to be fair, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. Uh, that's the I mean, isn't really sports good. anime basically BL? It's close to BL. I mean... It's shoujo. It's just basically a 50% difference in free and 50% 50 <laughs> off. 50% off? That bridge just took the BL game in there to a whole new level, holy crap. That is very true. Uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, I can't really think of, like, what, what, uh, what other categories you want to give uh, give out? Anime, anime of the Year, actually. We haven't actually said Anime of the Year. We just went for season. Dragon May, yay. Because it's just fun, fun slice of life. Done. I like slice of life. So this is new anime, right? Yep. Um, I'll probably have to go for... Hmm. I think Inoshiki probably did the most interesting stuff this year. It's between that and, uh, Kuzo. Kuzo was, uh... It was, like, it was surprisingly mm. deep. Kuzo is just kind of weird. It's weird, but it's deep in the sense. And it, it was really pretty. Like, really pretty. But then you get the Actually, first no, more you wait a second. Age. Wait a second, this year wasn't Koi no Katachi released? Yeah. Fuck it, Koyo. <laughs> Koi no Katachi, easy. Easy. It's not anime in the sense of like seasonal, but Koi no Katachi as a movie. Yeah, fuck that. That was bloody fantastic. My, uh, my favorite anime movie by far. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but then. Yeah, like, it's like, still your kind your of name, weird. Your name, the, um, the animation. I've got mixed feelings about the anime. The actual story of your name is just kind of like. What? Kind of, you know, it's it's yeah okay. It has its own little way of doing things, and it ha like apparently has some uh, you know important symbolism behind it, whatever. But the problem is the whole story itself, the execution of itself, was kind of yeah. There are some tropes. It, it has a lot of tropes that kind of you know. Mm -hmm. I think it takes liberties with you know like the groping. I feel like it did too much groping, <laughs> and there's like a lot of stuff. Where it's like. It's really dumb because, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to make sense of things a lot faster if that was happening to you, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I guess, okay, it's supernatural, yes, but it, you should be able to make more sense of what's happening much quicker than they mm -hmm. do. And it just felt like, oh, you just, you feel like you're just dragging it on, you know? And it just doesn't feel right. But, and also, I, I kind of find it weird that, like, they kind of fall in love with each other. I don't know. That, that, mm. that, that romance felt a bit forced. I guess, I guess the fact is, maybe, okay, maybe if you are inside the other person's body, you just kind of help you as, as a result, but it just felt kind of weird, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also say the same thing about Konikotachi's whole uh, romance 
for your bully sort of situation. Yeah, that's like that's why it's weird because that's the only thing I have like, against it. Really, that, that's the whole thing. It's like how did Shoko just like get get along with those bullies so fast and like there's not even a single drip of him. like. I guess you could say it was uh, her rejection uh, of her against the bullies. That's the weird part. I guess That's why the, the whole thing doesn't really make sense. I think like the main point of the of the whole movie was, you know, try and size the point of com importance of communication or something. Uh, maybe not that. It, I think it was more trying to say trying to find your place in the world, and it's more a sense of that. After all that, she managed to find her place and. Uh, like her interaction with, the, uh, with I would say she still doesn't really find her place. It's the whole thing is just like the redemption of Shota. Yeah, but the thing is, Sh uh, one thing like Shota is so relatable to though, right? Like, because there's a lot of stuff that we do as kids that we just kind of regret, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it comes to a point that it's like there, there are things that we do and they basically just eat, uh, eat away at us, and then we there are very little, a few times that we actually get like you know. To, to redeem ourselves for them, you know, to do mm -hmm. something, to make it right, and he actually tries to, and he actually sort of does, and I mean, there were all, like, bits in the end of, uh, you know, the whole, uh, you know, just, there's a lot of things that that freaking movie covers, and I feel it tr uh, treats them really well, you know, with respect, you know, with, you know, like, it doesn't feel like it uses it for emotional effect, it feels like it uses, you know, like, it goes over a certain, you know, it's a hard kind of talk about about spoiling it, right? Should we just make this like spoiler cast for the ring? Just like, let's talk about Kona Kotachi because fuck, I love that movie so much. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Oh. I mean, I feel like shit every time I watch it, but damn, this is a good movie. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. It's very, it's very few times it makes it, uh, I mean, people make me feel like shit. So, oh, one of the important releases for this year, Doki Doki Literature Club. No. <laughs> No, we do not talk about this here, hey Well, on. I've... I... This visual novel I just recently started... Well, it got psychological horror as a tag of, of, of it on Steam, so it pretty much explains itself. Not the typical visual novel you get. And this is gonna be bad. Is it bad in the sense of uh, cold spotty bad? It's... I just know it's really screwed up. Like... Oh, have you ever played Emily's Away? Nope. Oh, I can't play it. You love it. I not like I'm already trying to brace bracing oh. myself. I'm already bracing myself for one psychological horror. I don't need more. Oh, I mean, it's, it's not really that psychological horror. It's more the sense of uh... oh, it's hard to explain what it is. Just play it seriously. Like it's it's not it's not going to take you too long to get through it. But uh, you know how you said you need to work on your texting game. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's all text based. Mm. You'll you, you'll see what I mean. Like just just play. It. I, I don't want to spoil it for you. Just. Play it. It's. Mm. It will not fuck you up. I promise it won't fuck you up. You'll you'll feel emotions, but it will not be like, oh my god, this is like horrifying, right? Mm. It's not psychological horror. It's it's hard to say what it is. It's just just try. I think you'll really like. It. It'll be a couple of hours of your time, but you'll really appreciate it. Like I'll play it with you actually. Like we'll go and get with Savi. We'll start going. Playing it. <sighs> it's like oh. a text based sort of thing. Crap, this beanbag is doing me, making me falling asleep. Exactly God. what I mean, like, it's so comfy, like, how do you expect to study while, you, while you're while seeing this beanbags, right? Yeah, like, you just take naps and it, like, we're doing this recording by, while sitting on beanbags in library, it was so comfortable. It's so Okay, good. this is the best innovation of LSE this year. <laughs> what, beanbag bean bags. bags. <laughs> yeah. New beanbags. Actually, these beanbags are so good because they're so big. Yeah, and they're, actually, they're better than the one we had last year. Yeah, the, lo the, the small beanbags, like, you had to get multiple to be able to yeah. cover your whole body, but this thing, like, oh my god, it's basically a bed. Oh, ho, ho, I could just fall asleep like this. If I didn't have a car parked, I would just sleep it, to be honest, and be, wake up in the morning and just do my policy brief. So, yeah, mm. that'd be my sort of thing. But, yeah. It's been actually been, like, but to be fair, it's, uh, looking back at this, right, it's been a pretty good year for anime. And, uh, yep, to be honest, like... Stuff. Regardless of all the bullshit, I personally think it's been a good year. Uh, I think there's been a lot of like, on my end, I think I've had a lot of personal growth and I feel I've uh, improved as a person in some way. You know? What, what do you think, hey man? What was this, uh, how's this year been for you? Pretty decent. Like, I didn't really spend too much time in, on anime except 
time I had in anime saw. But then I also also check out a few seasonal animes and and they are pretty good. I don't really uh I don't usually go for like the th really long uh lasting anime with hundreds of episodes, but then the seasonal animes I enjoy them quite a lot. Hmm. And the uh, activities in anime saw because I'm this year because I'm part of the organizer, I would say it's really good. <laughs> but personal bias, right? Yeah, of course. Just giving yourself a personal pat on back there. I mean, to be fair, yeah, we did some good stuff, and I, I think uh, as far as uh, things go, we we did good. Hopefully, we can improve that during uh, the yeah the next MCM. Year. It was really fun because we had a couple of cosplays. Then the quizzes. Well, it was kind of hard because it was slaughter. I mean, I mean, that's fair. That was just a normal quiz, the individual quiz. It was supposed to be a slot to begin with. Uh, it's individual quiz. Fair, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then what do we have after that? Uh, well, Hyper Japan. Mm. Nah. No, actually, it's before the quiz. But whatever. Hyper Japan was slightly worse. And then what we have next is uh, Running Man. Oh, the turnout well, wasn't great, but it was fun times. I think that was probably the best running one we've ever hosted, to be honest. Yep, it was so hype. We should get the montage out at some point. The only thing that I personally well, I didn't think was well done was the Simon Says thing. It was tacked on at the end, and we never planned it out well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We said, hey, Tim, just do this thing. I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> what, can, what can you do, right? Like, it's kind of it's kind of hard to, like, uh, you know... It, it's it's kind of hard to play, uh, fuck around people with the coordination because we didn't uh, like um, plan out the rules too well, and it just kind of uh, yeah, mm. it was really tacked on. We should have just planned something a little bit nicer for it. Oh, we will we will have more stuff and better stuff next year, right? Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the, the theme's gonna be, but hey, maybe uh, maybe something to do with our game of life. Who knows? Maybe because uh, that for some reason games are something we're good at. I don't know why. We're well, good at probably play. because we're partly with gaming. Probably, fuck knows. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of gaming usually involved in this podcast anyway, so it's kind of a weird uh, blend of stuff. But hey, it's fine to cross-pollinate different genres. It's well, cool. so what? So what would you say is your personal experience of this uh, year? Hey man, what? how do you think you did as a person? I mean, should I be called a person after after all? Am I still deserve to be called as a person? Are you that? Are you downgrading yourself that much? Come on, hey man! It's the it's the season to be jolly. Try to think positively. I mean, we're you, think, in, you think you had a good year? Bad year? We're in LLC. How can we think positively? Uh, uh. Oh come on! Give me give me something good. You you, you think you think in uh, in all? Did you enjoy this year? Or did oh, you pretty good. Hit you with a passion. Yeah, it was a fun year. How about you? Like, stop talking about me. What about you? I did say, I said it earlier, like, I think, uh, overall, like, the year's been alright. I've, I've enjoyed myself. It's been yeah, fun. except, uh, see, exams are really screwing up with you. I mean, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the exams as a exemptionist factor that you can't influence too much. You know? You just have to deal with it, and it happens, and it happens. But I mean, in, in, in all in all, like, as long as nothing horrific happens, you're fine. It's been a good year. Yep. That was fun year. Also, just realized the best thing about this beanbag, you know what it's called? The Fat Boy. <laughs> beanbag Fat Boy? What? It's called the Fat Boy, yeah. Really? <laughs> it's really funny to look at the tag, it's great. Oh my uh, god, that I'm too lazy to move around in the beanbag, sorry. It's the Fat Boy. <laughs> just the Fat Boy's it's comfy. But. Uh. Yeah, so I think we, as, as far as things go, we've got like a lot of good stuff planned for next year, and hopefully we can uh, just do a much better job during Lent term than we did during Reckonless term. And yeah, as, as a result, have a good way to cap off our term as a present treasure, right, hey man? And uh, well, as right. a current committee, really, to be honest. I'll speak for most of the commit uh, for our current committee, really, but since we we are the only ones on the podcast, it's just me and you currently, right? Mm hmm. So hopefully we can get some good stuff done, and we can uh, improve the experience at LSE for every one of our members. And maybe the people are not even uh, um, members of our sock, to be honest, because we'd be doing some lot of collabs, and it'll be, it'll be fun mm -hmm. times, really. Um, and maybe like also do some like intercollegiate stuff and uh, interact with other, you know, uh, weebs in other unis. That'll be fun. What in the hey man? Yep. <laughs> get those 
me leaving this pump again. Exactly. Oh, you guys, thanks for joining us. It's been uh, it's been really a wild ride this year, and uh, I'm surprised that we've been doing the podcast for so long. And uh, mm-hmm. frankly, we actually we actually this is like a re-recording really of uh, of the podcast we did before because uh, for some reason we took a lot of shit on the other one. Uh, there was uh, stuff about like. What was it Mark Santa? Uh, some other weird. Are you gonna blend them together though? Large portion? No, I'm not gonna blend them. I might put them in like, uh, just like, you know, the outtakes of just like random shit we say. Maybe. Fair enough. But yeah, it's been an interesting time. As far as, as far as the year goes, I think we did well. Fun times. I think, Fun times. I think uh, as uh, Andy still goes, it's been, it's been a wild ride, but hey, I've been um, glad I'm a part of it, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely makes uh, the whole LSE experience much more interesting than it otherwise would be. Yep. And uh, as uh, as things go, I look forward to uh, you know uh, seeing everyone next year. I guess seeing everyone next year and uh, hope that we can have more interesting. We experiences. will have more interesting experience. We've got this whole thing planned. Well, yes, then. planned. We are actually organized this time around. We're on top of things now. Like at least we have. We got like so much stuff planned for for the half term before reading week, so stay tuned and keep up with our Posts. releases. Yeah, grou- uh, on the group and the page, they'll probably be posted, and people uh, you'll know what's happening when, so you can yep. plan accordingly. Anyway, guys, for those people that do listen to this whole thing, Jesus Christ, you are the MVPs, and uh, I appreciate you because. Really, this I think takes a long to, a while to do, and if I'm doing this in a new format, uh, this is going to be a very long, laborious uh, piece to edit. But hopefully, you guys uh, will enjoy it, and hopefully, I'll be able to continue it into next year. Yep, totally. So, Merry Christmas, guys! Merry Christmas and, and Happy, Happy new, new, year. new Year! See you in January. See ya.